I'm so excited. Video, hit that like and subscribe and I think you're going to because if you want to know hidden gems of Pike Place Market this is it people okay and I am a local and I feel like I'm still discovering amazing hacks and amazing businesses here at the market so I'm so excited to bring you some of those in this video and we're starting off so strong if you have a sweet tooth get ready let's just go My name is Destiny Sun and I own The Confectional. The Confectional makes mini cheesecakes. They're individual serving size cheesecakes in a variety of flavors. So people don't have to come in and buy a whole cheesecake of one flavor. They get to peruse and get as many flavors as they like. The most popular flavor of cheesecake by far is our raspberry white chocolate. We don't know why this sounds the best to people from all over the world, but it does. In fact, it's so popular we have to keep it on the bottom shelf. Working in Pike Place is the funnest part of my life. This is a community and uh, we all support each other and it is just electric down here and it's so old. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, working market in the entire world. Our drinking chocolate is properly called a sipping style chocolate and it is one of the secrets in the market. We intentionally kind of keep it tucked away in the front counter and when people discover it, if anybody's interested, they're like, oh, hot chocolate, what's that? We just say, would you like a sample? And they'll like, yes. And we will give them a sample and they'll say, that is amazing. And I love how people just, they, they feel like they're part of the family and they feel like they're in on the secret when they discover it. It's very cute. Oh my gosh, Destiny, thank you so much. If you have a chocolate craving or a sugar craving, I'm not kidding, I'm, I'm kind of upset that I'm telling people about this because I feel like the line's gonna be really long with the drinking chocolate, but you all need to know about it. Taste test time, the infamous drinking chocolate. Cheers. What is in this? I don't know. I'd give this a 15 out of 10. Hong, what are your thoughts? Same, I think this is really good. I haven't had anything like this. No, and you think like, I'm just getting this little shot. What is this? This is all you need, okay? This is like, it's a lot. It's a lot. You guys probably have chocolate in my teeth. It's worth it. <laughs> My second stop is the Truffle Queen, known for their truffle salt, and let me tell you, taste test. You see all the truffle in there? That's when you know you got some good stuff, for oh sure. So think of this one with your popcorn, your french fries, on chicken, steak, roasted vegetables, your eggs in the morning. Do people just, like just do that? They it? shoot it? Okay, shoot truffle salt, okay? Like, uh, a shot of tequila? Yeah, but without the tequila? Oh. <laughs> Truffles, y'all. If you don't like truffles, just stop watching the video. I don't know. I literally, I've never had truffles before. You've never had a truffle before? No, I'm like a broke college student. It's Hong's first time, you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray Hanscom. I'm the Truffle Queen. And I'm Alicia Hanscom. I'm the co-owner of the Truffle Queen. This is our 20th year. So I started this in 2003. And uh, we have been kind of letting people taste things, you know, for the last 20 years. And I love that the market community is so tight because we have a whole cadre of market people that come in and have some a happy hour glass of wine so it's it's a real family community and you just don't find that everywhere every time everyone comes into the store we treat them like family i mean this is a family business and we just want to give that generosity and give that kindness to other people yeah. and so the second you come into our store you'll feel right at home we'll chat we'll have a lot of fun and 
We just want you to support small businesses, support women-owned businesses, support the market, you know, anything that you can do for sure. One of my favorite things is our truffle honey. It is our black truffle honey. That one, I cannot do a charcuterie board without it. I would have to say the truffle cream. So it's the white truffle cream. It is basically sin in a jar, I always tell people. And I mean, as simple as putting it into mashed potatoes, I have literally, literally had people moan their way through dinner with just like, oh my God, what is in these potatoes? Uh, you know, but you can also put it if you just mix it into like a cream sauce for pasta or put it on a steak after you've cooked it and just use it as your steak butter. Just put a little bit and it just melts out. And it's, just, it's just that decadence, you know, kind of thing. Taste test, we lost count, maybe 14. We're doing a white balsamic. Mm. Why is it spicy? It's spicy? Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a good burn. Yeah. <laughs> Hong and I are at Oriental Mart. It's James Beard Award winner. Hong is the one that turned me on to this place. I'm so excited to try the food. Well, these are the special of the day. The special of the day is the bistec, which is uh, cooked in lemon and soy sauce, lots of garlic and lots of onions. This is the famous fried chicken wings, which we only cook once in a while. I don't have a menu. Okay. Because I just cook whatever I feel like cooking each day. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Bone appetite. First of all, we got the sampler platter. We had to trust her. She's given us all the things, all the favorites. I asked her what the most popular thing is and she said everything. Absolutely delicious. Never had anything like this. Highly recommend. It has the smoky like flavor to it and the inside is really soft and the vinegar highlights it really well. Now you get to watch us eat in this montage. <laughs> mm, that's good. I'm back here in the kitchen learning so much. So amazing, the food was incredible. You all are incredible. I love that they work as a family together. That is amazing. I don't know if my family could handle me in the kitchen. Probably not. Sister, what's my title? Dishwasher, garbage <laughs> server, uh, what? My name is Lila Rosas. I am the chef, entertainer, dishwasher, and server for Oriental Mart. Oriental's been here for 51 years. Maybe 52. We stopped counting after 50. I'm sorry. <laughs> Omar is uh, Filipino cuisine, of course. Uh, everything is homemade with love, of course, by me, because I love you. what I do. Yes. Yes. And you know, it's a little mix of a little bit of like Polynesian or Chinese. I'm self-taught, I never went to school. You know, when we first came here in 1969, and I, and I love to cook, it's my passion. You have to love what you do to be able to do this as long as I've done in like 50 something years. So if I get kind of like iffy or customer makes me mad, I come back here, I look at my sign and says, remember Lila, you love your job. <laughs> Take a couple of breaths and then I'm okay. I'm so jealous. I want to be your grandson. <laughs> Adopt us. Hey, if you need uh, how to cook certain things, you just come down here and let us know. And I want to yeah, learn. Well, yeah, we'll, You're we'll serious? You. You're being serious? Yeah. Okay, this was absolutely unreal, amazing. I don't know if I have any room left, but our next stop is Pike Place Chowder, which you might have already heard of. They have long, long lines, and we have a hack for you to skip that line, so that's coming up. And until then, bon appetit, and thank you for bringing me here, Hong. 20 out of 10, we'll give it, okay? And this is just a scale that I come up with, so you're welcome. Now for some rapid fire hacks. Did you know the market has a community garden? There you can enjoy some awesome views and check out everything they're growing. The garden is run by market residents and staff from the market commons. And all the produce is also donated to Pike Place Market Food Bank. So next time you're in the market, hang a left before you reach Maximilian Restaurant. Next up, who hasn't heard of Pike Place Chowder? They've won some big awards and the lines, they speak for themselves. But did you know you can skip the entire line by ordering online? 
pro tip, you're welcome. So number one obviously is our New England Clam Chowder, the award winner. And then the second most popular is our seafood bisque. It's got salmon, cod, shrimp, delicious uh, tomato base. And then my personal favorite is the seared scallop. It's delicious, very buttery, very creamy. Mm. That is so creamy, that is so good. I can see why this is your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, have you checked out the Selfie Museum? For just over 20 bucks, you can fill your Instagram feed with some pretty epic pics. Check out these backdrops. Bless another move, get on down. Bless another move, get on down, down. Watch me groove, I move, I move. I get so loose, I lose my cool. Watch me groove, I move, I move. I get so loose, I lose my cool. Fly in the visual, high in the spiritual, life can't get rid of you, this what I'm gonna do, kick off my shoes, get in the mood, get on down, get in the groove, I feel alive, I can't hide, look in my eyes, I feel inside, I got the mind. Thank you so much for watching Local Lens Seattle and this episode and supporting my channel. I appreciate you all and if you like it, hit that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye. And some honorable mentions, Old Stove Brewing on Western Avenue, one of my favorite stops to grab a beer and a view. And Jar Bar, another local gem for great apps and drinks. Okay, bye for real now. <laughs>